How's it going guys? Janus for this time and as always I will start the guide with some basics. Ghosts must be present in the party and our duty is to protect Horticulturist Hainan and the spirits of Seborhin. This is kind of easy but there is a patrolling group which responds every 2 minutes. So we must pay attention to them because they might run unnoticed all the way back to Hainan which means game over. I think once you start the mission that timer begins or activates so you can check slash age and if it's 2 minutes or any other even numbers you shall be prepared for another group to catch. By the way there are several harboring guests in this mission, the spirits create the light of Saberhim which destroys them when you drop it close to them. There is a boss at the end, the harbinger of nightfall and two additional harbingers on top of the stairs and killing the latter is the bonus objective. Alright, I will explain things more in detail anyway, now let me show you the builds real quick. Uh, warrior's point of view this time, dagger spam and warrior's endurance and I gave cost a 100 blades build. I believe this is decent in uh, this mission, great AoE damage on board up groups. Um, furthermore, I've got two surge mesmers, one in aptitude LA, one soul twisting return, one synth of spirits return and the beep necro. Tip number one, don't forget to display your lightbringer title and when you're ready, talk to Master Gardener Kuba to start the mission. Upon arriving we meet Horticulturist Hainan and he will give us the first light of Siborhin. And after that when you drop the light at the Harbringer it will destroy it and summon a spirit NPC which creates another light. So another Harbringer, another light to drop and another spirit and so on. The first two Harbringers are easy to deal with, no other fools in this part. But after the second one we get the first Mergonite team and advice to not drop the light in this case when the Harbringer and the enemy line is this close. The spirits die rather easily, better go for safety, kill the Mergonites first, then drop the light and summon the spirit. Anyway the Margos are not too dangerous, advice to kill their healer, the cleric first, then maybe the allies and all the rest. Usually after the third Harbinger you can expect the first patrol. If your team is meta you can probably destroy two or even three groups at a time but I suggest you try and keep it one group at a time uh, for safety reasons. And the patrol is basically the same group as the others but they don't give any XP and move fast towards the spirits. They try to kill all the spirits and finally they want to kill Hainan and the first NPC. The right side is cleared now, let's do the left side as well. As you can see the Lightbringer title does wonders to our damage, easily 100 plus attacks with dagger skills, but I think the same can be said uh, of any other meta builds, uh, the extra 40% damage boost helps much. Now both sides are cleared, we can pick up the light of Seborhin and get one of the Harbringers ahead. In the meantime probably enough time has passed to see another patrol, I haven't mentioned but speed boosts are really useful here in this mission. Two copies of fallback for example or even a longbow or flatbow, you know, to reach the patrols from afar or to separate the groups in the final part of the mission. There is another group behind the patrol, we can go for them now and after that let's get the one on the left side as well. As you can see I'm rotating my camera here every now and then, checking the patrol frequently. And I think this helps much to me, or you can use a stopwatch and check on the extra group like that. Another patrol in the meanwhile, I will flag my hero somewhat close to them and kill the Harbringer on the right side. To be honest, if you can make your way this far, this is only a patience game now, but uh, not difficult at all. Ok, I think the time has come to do the bonus, I will start the left side first, obviously the Harbringer camps on the top of the stairs, so reaching him requires more time. Very important note, not just the Harbringer must die in order to get the credit for the bonus, but the Margonites as well. This made me restart the mission a few times in the past, this is just a reminder. After the stairs are completely cleared, I suggest you wait, get the patrol again and only do the right side after that.
I've tried to move the Margos from their location, but this kind of didn't work, at least not with the Harbinger, it went back. So shame on you, Mr. Harbinger, I will farm you anyway. And once all that, the bonus is completed. After that, all we need is three copies of Light of Saberhins to catch the end boss. And I like to flag my heroes somewhere close to the patrol's uh, spawn spawning point, and I can do the running phase without uh, having to worry about the enemies. Heroes can easily tank the boss uh, plus the patrol as well, so don't worry, he is not that strong. And I forgot to say you can drop the lights of Severhin and pick it up again in case you want to fight. Okay, two more lights to go. And one more light of Saberhin, and I'm checking both stairs here just in case I have skipped a Margonite or two. But oh, good, drop the light, and it's victory. Someone mentioned uh, mission completion times in a comment, and uh, this time I have finished the uh, Jenner's Horde in around 30 minutes. And if you have questions, let me know in a comment. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.